dear students today let us see how to conduct low pass filter experiment aim of this experiment is to design the second order butterworth low pass filter for given cut off frequency of cut off frequency it is denoted by fc that is equal to 1 kilohertz so what that what does it mean so let us observe this curve so this is the nature of the curve since it is a low pass filter till cut off frequency this is a cut off frequency so whatever the signal we give so that must be passed so that output we are getting only until this cut off frequency after that we are not getting the signal so gradually its amplitude will decrease and finally we are not obtaining the output after this cut off frequency so this is what low pass filter if high pass filter means so we are getting the signal only after this cut off frequency so we have actually four type of filters low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter and band reject filter so now we are conducting the experiment of this low pass filter and this is the nature of the graph okay so let us see what are all the apparatus required for this experiments we need a op amp that is ic741 op amp 1 and then resistor of 10 kilo ohm and 15 kilo ohm hope you all are known about the color code of 10 kilo ohm and 15 kilo ohm so we need 10 kilo ohm and 15 kilo ohm resist resistors of 2 each then we have a capacitor of 0.1 microfarad its number is 103 then we need a signal generator and then a cro and then a fixed power supply okay and then breadboard cro probes and connecting wires right so cut off frequency is given by this expression fc is equal to 1 over 2 pi r into c so this is the circuit diagram to conduct the experiment so here this is our 741 ic okay so 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected to ground from this terminal 2 and terminal 2 to 6 it is connected another 10 kilo ohm resistance terminal 3 to 1 and 15 kilo ohm resistance and again another 15 kilo ohm resistance connected in series and then we are connecting our input we are feeding input to this end terminal of this resistance at that end of the input is given to ground and here we are connecting 0.1 microfarad from this terminal to 6 and this terminal to ground from terminal 3 to ground we are connecting one more capacitance that is 0.1 microfarad so here at the terminal 6 we are connecting the cro output so if we uh, look at the design of this experiment so we have a gain that is we assume the gain uh, gain we have set the gain of 2 so that means that if i give an input of 1 volts so i should get the output of 2 volts if i give the input of 2 volts as an input so i should get the output of 4 volts like that so whatever we give the input that must be doubled so that it says gain is equal to 2 and then cut off frequency we have designed for 1 kilo ohm so then so these are the what kind of op amp it is it is a non inverting op amp so why it is a non inverting op amp because we are giving input only to the non inverting terminal of the op amp this is a positive terminal which is nothing but non inverting terminal so here we are providing the input right so here we are feeding the input that's why it is called as non inverting op amp so for this non inverting op amp we know that gain of non inverting op amp is given by 1 plus rf by r1 as you know what is the gain of inverting op amp if we give input for the inverting terminal what is the gain minus rf by r1 so here but here we are using non inverting op amp we know non inverting op amp gain is 1 plus rf by r1 so what is the given data gain is 2 so we are substituting that so here we will get the ratio rf by r1 what is rf by r1 2 minus 1 that is 1 so we should choose the resistance such that rf is equal to r1 so hence we choose rf is equal to r1 is equal to 10 kilo ohm in our experiment so and then 
cut off frequency is given by this expression 1 over 2 pi under root of r1 into r2 into c1 into oh, c2 right so we choose r2 is equal to r3 is equal to r that is same resistance and the capacitance value is also same so this cut off frequency expression will reduce to this expression that is 1 over 2 pi r into c so then let us assume the capacitance of 0 0.01 microfarad okay then we will find out what is this unknown resistance r that is to be connected in the circuit because already we know what is the cut off frequency so therefore this is the resistance value we are obtaining when we substitute everything in this everything in this expression c is uh, assumed as 0.1 2 pi okay fc is however 1 kilohertz so if we substitute we are obtaining r of 15 kilo ohm so both resistance r2 and r3 we are connecting as 15 kilo ohm so this is all about the design aspect so now let us so this is the circuit this is the circuit diagram dear students as you know this is the circuit diagram similarly we have connected the connected in the breadboard this is the 741 ic right this is the 741 ic i will point from point this by using this pencil and here we are connecting from terminal to look at the circuit from terminal to we are connecting 10 kilo ohm to ground terminal so therefore from 10 kilo ohm this is a 10 kilo ohm resistance 2 to ground and then here in the circuit 2 to 6 again 10 kilo ohm is there so again terminal 2 to terminal 6 i have connected the 10 kilo ohm so like that everything as per the circuit diagram the connection is made on the breadboard like capacitance resistance everything so and then we have to set the input so as you know this is our signal generator okay so this signal generator will take and connect it to the CRO like this okay so and now here we set our input so I have connected this to channel number 2 right so what is the division channel number 2 here we can change the voltage right it is 2 volt per division One volt per division, right? So it is already set. Okay, so our input is set to one volt, right? Okay, so this is our the signal generator. So now, so now we are connecting this input. Where this input sh should be connected according to circuit diagram. So input from the signal generator, from the signal generator, we are connecting it, it to other end of the 15 kilo ohm so here comes our 15 kilo ohm from the signal generator we are connecting this okay so and output uh, output from the cro is drawn at pin number 6 of the op amp so this is op amp pin number 6 so now the supply is given so now when the supply is given the input is given dear students so what is the input we are given one volt per one volt as the input you can check here channel 1 we are uh, checking our output so what is the output we are getting this is 1 division this is 2 division so what is per division how many volts 1 volt so what is the output now 2 division into 2 that is we are getting 2 volts as the output but what is the input we have provided we have provided the input of only 1 volt now we are getting the output of 2 volts as the output so that is according to this that is we have a gain of 2 which is met here okay right so now let us see the conduction part so what is the frequency first we will keep for 10 so in uh, 100 kilo ohm 100 hertz range so the frequency is varying here so when it is 60 hertz what is a so this is the output so what is the amplitude that is 2 volts only so here will come for the tabular column okay 
so first let us let me keep in 1 kilo 1 kilo hertz range okay so 0.1 means it is 100 hertz since it is in 1 kilohertz range so it is 0.1 means 100 hertz for 100 hertz what is the output we are getting that is 2 volts so let me write here output voltage is 2 volts so now i will increase so for 200 hertz what is the output we are getting again 2 so we are taking 2 volts as the output so like this we will increase okay so we will increase increase the frequency and similarly we'll see so it is almost constant so if any variation is there then we are noting it down so dear students now it is decreasing right so we need to note down so we need to clearly concentrate at the output okay so now at what point it is decreasing 2 volts 2 volts so now it is decreasing so what is the output now 1.8 right so it is we are not getting 2 volts instead we are getting 1.8 for what frequency that is 7 740 so we are getting 1.8 volts right so next again i decrease again i increase the frequency so again it is decreasing somewhere near 850 volts so we are getting this output so what is this how much we are getting 1.1.6 right right so this is 1 volts okay 1.2 1.4 1.6 so we are taking for 1 kilohertz we are writing so not 1 kilohertz for what frequency 850 hertz we are writing how much 1.6 volts so next we'll again increase the frequency so when it is close to 1 kilohertz again it is decreased right so at 1 kilohertz we are getting almost 1 point this is one division 1 point to 1 point 3 1 point 3 volts okay so again if we increase so we'll go for next range okay we'll go for next range so this is 1 1.1 we are getting how much 1.1 we are getting 1.2 volts 1.1 we are getting 1.2 volts then somewhere near 1 we are getting 1.3 volts for 1.1 we are getting 1.2 volts and then for 1.2 1.2 we are getting almost 1 volts for 1.2 we are getting 1 volts like that 1.3 it's again decreased okay 0.8 0.8 1.8 one we'll check so again it is decreased how much 1.5 is decreased that is 0.4 volts okay so like this if we increase so what happens there is no output signal so that is the low pass filter output it will pass the frequency until the cut off frequency fc as you can evident from this tabular column after 1 kilohertz the output is decreasing in the amplitude initially it is 
initially it is too old so after 1 kilo at nearer frequency when it is nearer it is coming to decrease and finally we are not getting the signal when it is above 1 kilo hertz okay so this is the conduction of the experiment we can plot the graph like this from this tabular column and similarly